Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 5 and 6 of Saki Side A. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. Now, is this supposed to be continuing on their story between these two? And just a ghost member, baby. Bye. Hmm. I mean, we know that dream is going to be reality because it does happen between these two. That's their promise of their love.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, as she did say, she was a ghost member. The more I'm listening to this person's voice, it sounds like Megami Nogata. Yeah, that kind of sounds like her. It wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if she's in this. Makes me want to go look at her little roster again. It's almost like she's playing in her hands. So there's gotta be a way girl can just turn her around so that she can win. It is weird, but it makes her unique in a weird way. <laughs> uh oh She had to. Why else would she always know a move for her? Baby coincidence, my butt. Come on now. If it walk like a duck and it quack like a duck, it's a duck.
But it seems like that, though. Sure. She is eating y'all fucking alive. That's it. <laughs> the round the flag down be like, I quit. <laughs> I quit. I mean, you know what? I thought Saki was bad, but this one over here. Never underestimate ghost players. Seriously. And, and we, we knew that from what's her face in the original Saki series that you should never underestimate ghost fucking players. But look at this girl. Shit. Um. I can say she's getting tired because she's sick. Bags under her eyes. Oh! Wipe the floor with him. I'm a little tired, but she's okay.
okay. It's okay. You can cry. You did your best. I'm back. No, it's okay. No, you're not. You're just tired. Let her help you. There you go. See, I don't know about that. Because remember, y'all got sake over here. Y'all got Nadoka. You got tacos. I'm already. I'm grown drinking to him. <laughs> oh no, you can't bring food. Well, you know what? Tacos will bring tacos. So. No, not like that. Mm-hmm.
I'll have to answer her when I'm done. Okay. I mean, fucking. All right. So I feel bad for Baby in the first match because yes, I feel bad because she's like I lost all the points. But I, I feel like her sister's gonna at least try and so maybe get half of them back. But uh, all I'm gonna say is this. Having um, Toki go in first on that first match and doing what the fuck she did really just, you know, made our assume that that group is going to be the ones who are going to win nationals. Now, if, if they had to sent her out last as the quote unquote trump card, like for an example how Saki is, because I believe Saki is very much a trump card because even if you're at like the lowest of your lows, one of your five girls is a trump card. You'd be like, okay, you are our last person to go out. You're the one who's going to overtake everyone. And that is okay. But I get at the time there, there's got to be a way and reason why they're kind of playing into their hands. But of course, I'm not going to know until I watch the next episode. But it was sweet. It was a, it's a really nice return to this. I do also love the fact that the first episode focused on the other two girls and their kind of relationship with each other. Like, it looks like they're a couple, but they're not a couple. But they do coupley moments together. So, obviously, even though they're not, they are a couple. It's so fucking obvious. But my biggest thing is, whoever ends up going up against Saki, I feel for him. I genuinely feel for him because Saki is no <laughs> Saki is no game. <laughs> they um there is no match. No one has no match for Saki. Saki is just too um OP. So Whoever goes against Saki, I feel like right now, once again, as I said, you need to throw that white flag on the play and be like, hey, I quit. Because this girl right here, this girl's a menace. And when she plays, she plays to win. She plays hardball. Nadoka like that, too. In my opinion, I feel like everybody on Saki's and Nadoka's team is like that. But they do it in different ways and such. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, of course, we gotta wait until the next episode to see how this second match is going to conclude. Of course, um, Nadoka's friends are going to be one of the four teams to go into the final matches and such. Because, of course, there's eight teams left. There's eight schools left. And we only need four to lose. So, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. It's gonna happen. We all know it. But I feel like when we get to the final four, it's obvious that... It's going to be Saki playing and or Nadoka. So whoever does play for their school, I think that's going to be a beautiful reunion. So hopefully we get to see that soon-ish. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. I'm so assist to the rescue.
And that makes sense. Because, I mean, <laughs> if you got a little sister who's overprotected of, of her, you definitely want to be like that as well. And plus, they made her cry because she lost. So, you know, her big girl sister button is like overdrive right now. So she is like, I am going to get them damn points back one way or another. Like, I, you know, she ain't going to cause no murder or anything. But, you know, she's going to murder these three without actually murdering them. And really, I think, you know, babe is just going to, she's going to be OP as fuck. Not OP like Saki, but at her level. That's all I'll say about that. I think we got like what ten more episodes left with the show before we're done and we go into part three. See, you say that now, but whatever that is, she about to wipe y'all with the motherfucking floor with the behind towel. See, she's so fucking polite. <laughs> Yeah, maybe your deduction was very wrong. But see, y'all are just as much as uh, the previous match. Everybody was playing into what's-her-face's hands. Y'all playing into her hands. Y'all just don't fucking realize it. You're saying that she's so easy to read and ish, but... Of course, it's for somebody else.
Damn it. This shit about to do possibly the ultimate gamble. Nice. wrong does that basically mean she's individual Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. It's still okay.
Oo. <laughs> you need to change. I mean, you know, she can't wear a skirt. It's cute. Hmm. That she really did. Not the jump with the skirt. <laughs> the baby when baby said she was getting poisoned back Excuse me.
Of course, we <laughs> gotta wait until next week to see how this is gonna fucking conclude. You got two girls who really want points and to really satisfy their teammates, but god damn it! Ah! Okay. Take that. I will fucking take that second place. Get them points back. Get them fucking points back! But still have fun. That's a different energy. That's a different girl right now. Akko! Everybody did a damn good job getting points back. MV motherfucker peeves! That's how you end the episode on a high note. Yes. Mm. But Adessa, it's really up to her because, of course, what's her face is going last. But, oh. I took my seat nervous with this. <laughs> really more of this episode than the previous one. But, like, oh, it was so good. I'm so happy. Like, oh, they're, they're doing good. They doing good, but still, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking Saki and just whatever the fuck is under Saki's situation and what she might do to these girls. But remember, they're doing this all to see Nadoka. That's all they're going to care about. Maybe winning too, yes, but Nadoka, seeing their girlfriend is the number one goal. Everything else is second, but if they really could win this, I think that would be really sweet for them. But of course... It, it's just they are the underdogs compared to Saki's team. That's all I have to say with them. I still love them. They are super adorable as hell. Love all five in their own special ways. But when you really think about it, I'm like, oh my god, do they really, can they really stand up to Saki even though they're no way against her yacht? I would have almost expected, like, okay, so you know how at the beginning, excuse me, the beginning of the Nationals, we did see Saki. I would have assumed that, and I love the fact with this week's episodes, we got, you know, a flashback with Nandoka. Um, once again, that if any one of them are having a conversation with any one of their other teammates out in the hallway... That either Saki, Nadoka, Tacos, somebody would pop up because, but then I, I remember 
they're in a different hall than Saki and them. So they're not really going to genuinely see each other unless they make it to Final Four. Once she gets to Final Four, that is initially when they'll possibly see her again. But I, I secretly still want that. I really do want to see these two finally see Naroka and then just Naroka looks at them and instantly remembers them or just looks at them and be like, Dare? Like, who the fuck are you? And such, <laughs> you know, because there are some people who are like, mm, I don't want to talk about my middle school past and I like to forget about the shit that I did in middle school and also the friends I made in middle school. I, I don't know a lot of people who do that. I know damn well I ain't do that shit. Um, but <laughs> if Nanoka did something like that and doesn't really, you know, acknowledge them and makes them feel upset oh it'll be very like out of character for her to do that and especially if like Saki's there with her and be like no 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 not if I, you, you gotta be nice but I get it it's a game everybody when you know they're in their moments because all these girls are in their moments when it is national fucking time I know I will be too um when you are in that moment no one else matters but your matches at the end of the day but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes five and six of Saki side a if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes seven and eight but until then i will see you guys all next time bye guys